Good morning everybody. Today is Wednesday, April 15th, and this is the start of the third week of the Owl's Magical Readathon. I am going for the astronomer career, and I've completed two of my required classes because I'm also getting the Animagus training. I completed the astronomy exam in which I read Saga all at nighttime on the first night of the readathon, and then yesterday I completed my arithmetic exam when I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, which is now one of my new all-time favorite books, by the way. Like, fantastic. <laughs> Still happy I read that. Um, I am also currently almost 100 pages into Renegades by Marissa Meyer, in which I'm using it for the, uh, Animagus training for the Transfiguration prompt because one of the renegades is able to shapeshift into a group of moths. Her name is Monarch and it's cool as heck. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, today I'm going to be spending most of my day um, actually writing an essay. I want to get the first draft of my first essay due done today. Uh, so tomorrow I can edit and proofread it and then Friday I can submit it because it's due Friday. And I think that's doable. I've got a full outline and all of my sources ready to go. I just have to put it together. So I'm going to be spending the next foreseeable future doing that. Also, I'm really sad because I ruined this cup of tea with way too much freaking milk. I forgot that Earl Grey, this is actually a Lady Grey tea by Twinings. It actually like doesn't need nearly as much milk as normal. And like it's way thinner than usual. So like I put my normal amount of milk in. And my hand must have slipped because I'm like really sad, but <laughs> I'm still going to drink it, but <laughs> it's not going to be as good. <laughs> anyway, I am going to get some work done and I will update you guys later. Hey guys, so I just wanted to check in with you quickly. Um, I'm still making my way through my essay. I've done a lot of like prep work. I'm currently reading through a bunch of my research and trying to pick up quotes and paraphrasing and stuff like that for my body paragraphs, but I've written my entire introduction, which usually is kind of hard for me, but it's like a page and a half, so <laughs> that's nice out of a seven to eight page paper. I talked with one of my friends because I've been really slow at it this like round, but um, she gave me a good plan to just kind of write as much as I can today, maybe reach a goal of like half of the draft being done, which would only be like two and a half more pages, which is like doable for today because then I can take a break. <laughs> I want to get my sleeping on track, so I'm not going to stay up late tonight doing it. I'm not. I'm not. But anyway, in terms of reading, I haven't done any yet, but I did make a decision. Um, the next book that I have to read to actually complete my astronomer goal is, um, oh no, that's a lie. Never mind. Okay, the next one I have to do, which will actually complete my, no, it won't. <laughs> I need to stop. The next book that I'm going to read is actually going to be my potions read, and I'm going to listen to another audiobook. What I did this time is... I decided to choose one of my unread Agatha Christie novels because they're so short. One of the ones that I have in here is um, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd, which I've heard of a lot and I've wanted to read for a while. And according to the um, table of contents for this one, 
The Murder of Roger Ackroyd is less than 150 pages in this anthology, so I'm going to use that as it's counting, despite the fact that the pages are like this. Um, my copy of it is less than 150 pages, so screw you Goodreads, which says it's more than that. I don't care. Um, I've borrowed the audiobook off of my Libby app on my library app, so because I already have this, so I don't want to purchase the audiobook. Um, and I'm going to listen to that. It's probably going to be around six hours because it's six parts and usually they're between 45 minutes and an hour, at least on the app that I use. So I'm going to also listen to it where I play Animal Crossing the next couple of days because I'm excited for it. I like Agatha Christie novels as audiobooks. That was the last one I listened to, actually. I listened to And Then There Were None, which that one was narr narrated by Dan Stevens and like fantastic. You should do, you should listen to that. But anyway, I made that decision. So again, until I feel ready about reading physically and picking up Renegades again, I'm going to listen to The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie. Another side note, actually. I chopped off all my acrylics and <laughs> now they look so crazy. Um, are, are they acrylics, gel nails? I'm not sure. Whatever. They grew out so much and I couldn't type anymore, so I chopped them off. Today is Friday, April 17th, and I haven't vlogged very much in the last couple days. Um, it's mostly just because I spent the last two days working on my term paper for my Gender, Civility, and Courtliness in the Early Modern Europe class. And last night I finished the paper around 9. My friend were, uh, looked it over for me last night. I did one final edit this morning and submitted it, so I'm done with that class, which I'm really sad about because it was actually probably my favorite one this term. I really enjoyed writing my paper, <laughs> if any of you guys know anything about this, but I wrote my paper on Madeleine de Scuderi, um, her story The History of Sappho, and um, the playwright Moliere's uh, short one-act play The Precious Ridicule, um, in which he like outwardly mocks Scuderi and any other female writers of the early um, 17th century in France and talked about French salons and their function and how Moliere is trying to break them down in his plays and turn them into a mockery to try and undermine female education and female writing. And I actually had a really good time writing it. I really enjoyed it and it makes me very uh, hopeful for my future academic career to find something that I enjoyed writing about so much. So that was fun. Um, next two papers are going to be interesting. Next one is for my uh, Emblems and Metaphor class, in, also in Early Modern Europe. Um, I'm writing on The Fairy Queen by Edmund Spencer, because it's one of the few texts that I've read before and it's a bit more accessible. I did a presentation on it and I'm hoping to get my feedback. It's from February, so I'm hoping to get my feedback any day now, because it's due next Friday. And I'd really like to get started on it as soon as possible because next Monday I have another class, or another final paper, my last one for the term, which I've managed to figure out a way to write about Northern Arabi in <laughs> my Reimagining Nature, Science and Empire in the early, or the long 18th century. This one, I'm gonna be talking about the Gothic and the Supernatural and um, Austin's parody of it, I'm excited, in Northern Arabi. We didn't read it for class, we read Mansfield Park, but I wanna talk about Northern Arabi and the Gothic, so. I'm gonna. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I've just been in school mode the last couple days. I just sat at my desk and played a bit more Animal Crossing, which was a lot of fun. And tonight Tyler and I are having a Mario Kart gaming night party, which I'm excited about. But this weekend I'm gonna chill, relax, and focus on reading. I have started the audiobook for The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie which I'm going to be using for my potions class. It's only like a six hour audiobook and I listen to it at one and a half speed, so it'll be done in less than five. And I'm pumped for it. I'm excited to get it done because I've really been enjoying it so far. I've only listened to like 20 minutes of it, but I love murder mysteries, especially I get the Christie, so I'm having a good time. And I've still made like no progress on Renegades because 
I'm kind of dying when it comes to physical reading, but hopefully I can get more done this weekend. But yeah, anyway, that's my update. It's like 5.30 right now. I just had a bath and a shower and I feel like a human again. Um, and I've just been rewatching my old favorite vlogger. It's actually Flare Force. I've been rewatching all of her old daily vlogs that she used to do every other month and just reminiscing. And it's been a good time. But yeah, anyway, I will update you guys when I get some more actual reading done. Wish me luck. My soul, an eternity of such. No! Hello all. Today is Saturday, April 18th, and I'm currently sitting on my couch playing Animal Crossing and listening to The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie. I am about one third of the way through. I've been listening for a couple hours, and I'm really enjoying it so far. I didn't realize it was a Poirot novel, and I love her kill Poirot novels, so I'm enjoying revisiting his character. I find him so funny. Like, <laughs> I think the Kenneth Branagh Murder on the Orient Express was one of the best portrayals of Poro I think I've ever seen. He nailed it, <laughs> and I really, it really makes me want to watch it again. <laughs> I might do that tonight. Um, last night we were watching Pirates of the Caribbean. I ended up starting an entire marathon, and we made it to about halfway through the last or the third film. And then I was falling asleep on the couch, so it's bad. <laughs> um, tonight we're probably gonna finish it, play some Mario Kart because we didn't do that last night. And then, um, I want to watch Murder on the Orient Express. <laughs> um, but yeah, today, um, has been a pretty chill day. I got some feedback on my presentation finally, and I got an A-, minus, which I'm ha really happy I got an 80. And, she, um, my prof told us that she doesn't really care how much of our presentation we turn into our final paper. So she gave me some feedback. I asked her a few more questions, so I'm just waiting to hear back. I'm asking for some more relevant references, because she mentioned that a few of mine are kind of old. And I'm gonna rework my paper. I'm excited about it, because um, I feel good about it. So I'm hoping that it goes well. I'm gonna work on that on Monday, Tuesday, hopefully, and then work on my other one the last two days of next week, or three days of next week. It's gonna require me reading Northern Abbey again, so <laughs> look forward to that. Um, but yeah, in terms of Renegades, I still haven't read any more because I haven't been reading like anything lately, but it's fine. I'm going to let you guys know how I feel about the rest of Roger Ackroyd when I get to it, and I'll keep you guys updated. Bye. Living so sure. So sure. But no, I'm very humble when I say like a little child. I don't know. Hello you guys, today is Tuesday, April 21st, so it's been a little while since I've updated you guys, but it is the last day of the third week of the Owl's Magical Readathon, and I have a couple updates for you guys. So last I saw you, I was watching Murder on the Orient Express on Saturday night with Tyler, because I just finished The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie, and I was in an Agatha Christie mood. I loved this audiobook so much. I love listening to Agatha Christie's mysteries on audio, they're super quick, and they're super engaging, and I love just listening to a mystery unfold, it's so much more fun. Absolutely adored it. I gave it four out of five stars. So that is the Owls for um, Potions completed because the book was less than 150 pages in the anthology that I have it in. But I listened to it anyway, so whatever. But it is about 11.30 on Tuesday night and I just completed Renegades by Marissa Meyer and oh my god, I love this book so much. <laughs> I like, again, was on page 70 at about 6 o'clock this afternoon when I, you guys saw that clip of me in the bath, <laughs> and I just finished it. Same with Aurora Rising, and just started it late and read it all the way through. 
absolutely adored it. Oh my god. Max is adorable and he needs to be protected at all costs. I don't hate Adrian as much as I did at the beginning. I can understand him a little bit more now after having read the first book. Nova is still my favorite. I absolutely adore her. Like, the way she fights and the way she moves using her power is so incredible and I absolutely adore her perspective. I think she's super, um, I think she's flawed, but I think she's also super brave and very conflicted and I find that makes her a really interesting dynamic, especially considering that she's someone who's in between two fighting factors and like I love the way that this makes you question heroes and villains and the idea of heroes and villains. I think it was executed so well. Like I'm on the anarchist side right now, not the renegade. It deals with corruption, it deals with like Going back to my Pirates of the Caribbean uh, marathon, I'm gonna um, quote Rigetti here and talk about the dichotomy of good and evil. One of men's biggest vexations, but it deals with that really well and I think I really 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 enjoyed this. I can't wait to finish off the series, I'm so happy I have all of it. <laughs> Thank you to Tyler for buying them for me for Christmas, but I'm just so happy with, the, <laughs> with this. Like, so happy. But anyway, um, that completed the challenge for um, Transfiguration because it um, had multiple characters that can shapeshift in it. Speaking most, one from the Renegades and one from the Anarchists as far as I can tell actually. In the Renegades there is Monarch who can turn into a swarm of butterflies. And on the Anarchist side there's Phobia who's actually, side note, he's my favorite of the Anarchists. He's terrifying and he's amazing. Um, he's like... He was described at one point in here as being the actual manifestation of fear, but his like power is that he can detect people's phobias and then turn himself into them. There's a scene where he attacked a renegade as a swarm of um, black widow spiders, which definitely would have made me like die fright <laughs> right away. But he's just such a creep and I love him. <laughs> he didn't know I want more of him. I want to know more about him, but anyway. Again, I think I'm getting good at this because at the murder of Roger Ackroyd, I guessed the killer right at the end and I was so right and I'm so happy. And that never happens with me. I'm never able to guess. And then I managed to guess a big thing at the end of this book and I'm really proud of myself for it. It doesn't bug me when I do that because it never happens. And I think uh, I'm so happy about it. <laughs> I called it. And it happened, and I feel smart. <laughs> anyway, this means that the only exam that I have left to complete for the owls in the next week is the um, History of Magic, which is to read a book that features witches or wizards. For this, next weekend actually, this, the rest of this week I'm going to spend working on my essays because um, I'm, a bit, I'm a day behind right now. I'd like to have them all done by like Friday because this weekend I'd like to film a vlog of me reading the entirety of the Lord of the Rings series in like the span of a weekend. I'm gonna try and do it. I've gotten about a hundred pages into Fellowship of the Ring and then I just stopped reading it. I don't know why. I have the entire trilogy. I want to do a vlog and try and read it all in the span of a weekend. And as you guys know, because of Gandalf the Grey and Gandalf the White and Saruman the White and blah blah blah, there are wizards in uh, Lord of the Rings. So this will complete my last challenge as soon as I read Fellowship of the Ring. And then I'm going to read the rest of them as well, just for fun. <laughs> but anyway, that is it for this week's reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you've read any of the books that I mentioned, or if you have any other recommendations or anything else that I featured in this vlog, please let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I put out new bookish videos every week. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.